Hi, and welcome to the Torchlight tutorial. You may want to download the game file and graphics that came with this tutorial from Roentia.com under Documents. Let's hit play and go ahead and see what this is, tutorial is about. As you notice when I started, we have a torch and it follows the mouse. And the closer I get to the bricks, the more they light out. And the farther away I get, they disappear. This could be useful if you're playing a game where you have to go outside and all you have for a tool is a flashlight. Or maybe you're in a dark tunnel and the only lighted areas of the tunnel are the torches and other fire elements. I made a little game out of, out of this where if you search around and you're careful not to touch these skeletons with their underneath their graves, but are able to find the skull instead, go ahead and touch that and you'll win the game. Let's look at the first element we want to look at is the bricks. And as I open that file up, I have two events, the create event and the step event. Under the create event, all I'm using is setting the sprite color blending. And that can be found under the main one tab. If I double click that, you'll notice that the alpha is set to zero. So even though the object is visible, the coloring is not, it's not being colored. And so it is set it is invisible if we look under the step event uh, this is what I use for my coding to determine whether you're close or you're far enough to the object for it to be visible or invisible so if the distance to object flame if the brick has a distance to the flame larger than 150 then the alpha is set to zero meaning it's invisible but if the distance to the flame is smaller than 150 and it is larger than 125 then the blending is now 0.2 being a little more visible and if you scroll down this continues until you get right on top of the object and the alpha will be set to 1 so it will be completely visible after that all you need to do is copy and paste this into every object in your game world that you want to have this uh, visibility thing applied to. So I copied and pasted that to my ghost in my random skull. And that's it. That's how it works. There is another way to get visibility more dynamically to the point whether how close I am from an object or how far I am. But that will be explained in another, in another tutorial. Thank you.